Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to study about the basal area of phyta and the basal area of phyta we will study about the pinnule area pinnule area so firstly we will talk about the classification of pinnule area classification in the classification we will discuss about the division class order family as well as genus so division of pinnularia is basilariophyta basilariophyta and class of pinnularia is basilariophyci basilariophyci order order of pinnularia is pinnales family family of pinnularia is naculidae naculidae and genus of pinnularia is pinnularia so this was all about the classification but now we are going to study about the general structure as well as occurrence so first we will talk about the occurrence of pinnularia Occurrence. If we talk about the occurrence of pinnule area, then we can say that these are present on the moist places, moist places, these are present on the ponds and fresh water so these are the places where uh, the pinnule area is found so now we are going to study about the general structures of pinnule area general structures of pinnule area so first we will talk about the cell wall of pinnule area as well as cell of pinnularia cell as well as cell cell wall so first we will talk about the cell if we talk about the cell or a pinnularia then we can say that only unicellular pinnularia are unicellular if we talk about the shape then elongated elongated is the shape of pinnule area elliptical elliptical mean oval in shape elliptical mean oval oval in shape it mean body is rather elongated as well as oval not totally round so if we talk about the cell wall then cell wall is composed of pectic substances pectic substances and silica silica are present in the cell wall so due to presence of silica the cell wall of pinnularia is so hard so hard cell wall so why this cell wall is hard the cell wall is hard due to presence of silica impregnation of silica make the cell wall of pinnularia very hard so the wall of pinnularia is basically composed of two halls wall of 
pinnule area consists of two halls how these halls are look like for example this is a one hall and this is an other hall so this is upper hall and this is lower hall and this each hall is also known as wall and this is also known as wall and if we talk about these wall so this is present on upper side so that's why this is known as apitheca so i can label it this is apitheca and this wall is present on the lower side so that's why known as hypotheca and the whole inner portion of this cell is known as frustule so i can label it this is frustule and look on this diagram then these are the points which are connected to each other it mean upper and lower margin upper and lower plate or a wall these are connected on the margins on both side from here and from here and these points are known as cingulum cingulum and if we talk about these cingulums then we can see that this is upper cingulum and this is lower cingulum but commonly we can say or i call it this point is known as cingulum these are the margins where both upper and lower hypotheca as well as apitheca are connected to each other now we are going to study about the views of the cell so we can view or see this pinnularial cells on two types of views so one type of view is known as wall view and other type of view is known as a girdle view so firstly i am telling about these two types of view first one view is known as girdle view and the second type of view is known as wall view so this diagram or of this shape which is looking on the white board firstly this type of view is known as girdle view so i can label it here this view is known as girdle view but which type of wall view is look like now i am making the diagram according to this view so if we talk about the diagram this diagram is according to wall view this diagram is according to wall view this is actually the wall view which i am looking here i am making this is basically a wall view if we talk about this type of diagram and this type of diagram these are basically looking in two types of view this view in which apitheca and hypotheca are present or looking separately and we can also see or look the these types of margin and these margins are known as cingulum but these cingulum are not looking in this type of diagram so this type of view is known as well view and actually this is a side view and this is basically uh, sorry this is basically a front view or a surface view and this type of view is basically a band view one band is present on the upper side and one band is present on the lower side so that's why this uh, view is also known as girdle view is also known as a band view band view 
and this well view is also known as surface view so we can write here it as surface view but now look at this diagram you can see a surface or a simple portion inside this which is not uh, which is basically empty or a clear portion this portion is empty portion is known as axial field so i can label it axial field axial field another thing which is present from here to here at the central portion but look here this is a central portion this is a central but empty portion empty portion is known as axial field and in the axial field this is a line which is present from this region to this region it mean from this pole to this pole this whole structure is known as raphi this whole structure is known as raphi if we talk about the raphi then the central portion of this raphi is wedge shaped or a swollen present at the center the central nodule central nodule and these are the margins and these nodules are known as polar nodules polar nodules and these are basically the internal structure and this wall is covered by a mucilage the whole surface of this pinnule area is covered by a mucilage and there are small pores which are present and these pores are separated by such type of structures these are basically giving a whole structure or a marking so these are the markings of a plant body or a cell of pinnule area so this is all about the external structure but in the next lecture we will study about the cell structure as well as reproduction of the pinnule area